after 11 o'clock here in Kauai. I am in a little town called Kapa'a. Uh, we uh, actually checked off another bucket list item today. We hitchhiked from the Lihu Airport to Kapa'a. I'd never hitchhiked before, and believe it or not, it was one of those things that I kind of always wanted to do. Um, just because there was a time in my life when I had been scared to death to do it. And I'm sure there's some of you out there going, oh, how dangerous and crazy and that's so stupid. Um, but uh, in all honesty, I don't really care. I was pretty excited to do it. I hopped in the back of uh, this guy's truck and uh, he drove us the eight miles uh, here to Kapa'a. Uh, and then we uh, got here about midday, uh, got ready, um, went to the store, bought all the food and equipment and everything that we didn't have yet. Um, still for a pretty exciting third bucket list item we'll be checking off tomorrow, which as far as I'm concerned is the adventure of a lifetime. Uh, headed along a, a hike along the Nepali coast, Kalalu, Kalalau Beach, um, where we will be uh, uh, basically camping in the rainforest. I've got my hammock tent to put in the trees and uh, swimming on the, in, the, in one of the most beautiful waters in the ocean in the world, one of the most beautiful coastlines in the world. Um, We've got spear fishing equipment and, and uh, fishing poles. We'll be doing some fishing and uh, doing a swim to a little little another beach called Hanope. I think it's called Hanope. Um, it's about a tenth of a mile swim in the ocean. Um, so to this little private beach with this huge arch. And so I'll take lots. Of, my camera is waterproof, so we'll bring that along and take lots of footage of that. And uh, this will be my last blog post until next week um, because I will have no internet access, no cell phone. We'll be completely off the grid for the next week. Um, it's been, a, it's been an amazing day, and I'm pretty excited. I did get kicked off the bus today. Apparently, um, in Kauai, they do not want you riding a bus with a fishing pole, and specifically, a spear gun is, is uh, definitely prohibited. So they just would not let us on the bus today, and uh, we had to st kind of stand out in the rain for a little bit and figure out what we were going to do next. Ended up taking a cab back to the Kauai beach house where we're staying uh, here in Kapa'a, but i um, pretty excited about the hike tomorrow, and... Uh, it's just been an amazing trip so far, and I'm just grateful and blessed and here in the dark because this hostel beach house that we're staying at has, um, well, actually has three outlets in the room, but none of them work, and there's an extension cord coming through the window to um, the one lamp that is in the room, and so we unplugged that to plug my laptop in, and we'll be, you know, trading out laptops and, and um, cell phones and cameras and everything else all night to make sure that we have everything charged and ready uh, as we head off the grid tomorrow. So um, this uh, this hike is, I will say, I guess, um, found it today. It's rated National Geographic top 10. At some point it was rated top 10 most dangerous hikes in the world, and Sierra Club uh, rates it top 5, um, or has rated it top 5. So it's been a little wet here. Um, it's all volcanic rock, so I guess it crumbles quite a bit and it uh, gets real slippery in the, the rain, but it should be dry conditions the next several days, um, and we should be back next Tuesday or Wednesday, so I will update everybody that we are safe when we get back, um, but if we don't update you right away, it's because we may get stuck out there a couple extra days, um, because there are some river crossings that when it does rain, you just can't cross. So, uh, wish us luck. Um, we are headed out, our backpacks are packed, and we are headed out on the adventure of a lifetime tomorrow um, for my 34th birthday, and uh, I'm pretty darn excited about it. So. We'll see you when we get back.